back to my channel and learning station and this is me Alvin. so our video for today is we're going to read um, the book of Lightful the Bull in, from Brick by Brick book six lesson one so and not so uh, don't forget we are going to do the exercises as well so let's start so first open your book which is Brick by Brick Building values. I, oopsie. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. A new generation of values and life skill. Oh, come on. This is so cool. Okay. Book six. Okay. So take the first chapter, which is Divide from the Bow on page three. So start up. Respect means to value or regard the worth of people and things. What are your special possessions? How do you take care of them? How do you con show consideration for the people around you? In fact, not only people, but everything in our environment, whether it is small as a leaf or big as a tree, deserves our respect. Read this story to find out why everyone needs to be respected. Read on. Once upon a time, in a city in northern India, there was a calf who was bought up, bought by a rich man named Ganeshyam. He grew very fond of the calf and called him Delightful. He also took good care of him. But when Delightful grew up to be into a big, fine, strong bull, he thought, I was brought up by my master, a very generous man. He gave me food and care. Now I must give something in return to him. So he said, Sir, please find some wealthy merchant who is proud of having strong bowls. I meant many strong bowls. Challenge him by saying that your bowl can pull 100 heavily loaded bullock carts. I meant 100, not more than that. Ganeshyam found such a merchant and said to him, Sir, I have a bull who can pull 100 heavily loaded bullock carts. There can be no such bull, said the merchant. I do have a bull like that, and I am ready to bet a thousand gold coins that my bull can pull so many good bullock carts. The day was decided and each prepared for it accordingly. The merchant attached a hundred bullock carts and filled them with sand to make it difficult for the bull to pull them. The rich man fed the finest rice to the delightful. Then he climbed onto it, being rich and high class. He could not resist the urge to make himself feels, I mean, seem very important. So he cracked a whip in the air and yelled at the faithful bull, pull, you dumb animal. I command you to pull, you big dummy. Delightful was shocked. He thought, I have never done anything bad to my master, and yet he insults me with such harsh words. So he remained in his place and refused to pull the cards. Then Shyam lost his bet and had to pay the merchant 1,000 gold coins. He returned home sad and embarrassed by the blow to his pride. He said, I lost 1,000 gold coins because of the delightful. It's a great loss for me. The bowler replied, Sir, how could you call me dummy and then you crack a whip over my head? Head, have I ever behaved like a dummy, broken things, made a mess of things, or caused you any embarrassment? No, said Ganeshya. Then why, sir, did you insult me in the presence of others? It's your fault, but I feel sorry for you. Go and place the same bet with the merchant. Ganeshya went back to the merchant and bet 2,000 gold coins. The merchant was very happy, hoping to win again. He 
he loaded the hundred block cards with sand. When all was ready, Ganeshyam touched the light bull's forehead. He said, my son, you have been a very good bull all your life. Please do me the honor of pulling the 100 cards. Lo and behold, the bull pulled with all his might and dragged the heavy cards until the last one stood in the place of the first. The merchant, with his mouth hanging open in disbelief, paid Ganeshyan him his 2,000 gold coins. Ganeshyam patted the light bulb to express his joy. He realized that hard words bring no reward. Respectful words bring honor to all. From now on, I will understand that all people have value. Value people and appreciate them. Treat others the way I would want to be treated. Try not to ridicule or embarrass people. So if you agree with all this, do hit the like button, okay? So here's the white star. Everyone in the world is worth being nice to because God never creates in a fear human beings. Each person deserves respect and dignity. What did I learn? Take the correct option. So, wait a second. Okay. Take the correct option. Oops. It says take the correct option. Delightful, the bull decided to help his master because he felt that his master had looked after him his, uh, throughout his life. B. He felt that his master was poor and needed help. So the answer was option A. That's just too big. But wait a second. I'll just remove that and put the other tick over there. So there it is. So tick. And so the next one is. Uh, delightful was shocked when his master spoke to him rudely because uh, option A, his master's word, words were too loud. Option B, his master had never spoken such harsh words to him before. So the answer is option B. So, okay. so um, the next question is, the merchant filled the cards with sand because he wanted to make it difficult for the bull to pull the hundred cards. Option B, he had no other material to for the bull to, uh, I mean, he had no other materials to fill the card. So the answer is option A. And so, wait a second. Let me erase that thingy. And I'll draw the new stamp. Okay, the bull decided not to pull the cards because A, he was feeling nervous and tired that day. Option B, he was hurt at being treated with disrespect by his master. So the answer is option B. Okay, option B is the answer. Okay, option B is the answer. So. So the second one, I meant uh, the fifth question is, the merchant was happy to bet, happy, the ex, happy to accept the bet for the second time because he was going to leave the city soon and needed money. Option B, he was sure that the bull could not pull the hundred cards. So he'd win the bet and make more money. So the answer is, of course, option B. So that's all it. It's wrong. Ah, I see. So wait a second, let me off this thingy. Okay, so question area B, answer the following questions. 
Why did the bull ask his master to place a bet with the merchant? Because the bull thought his master had took after him throughout his life. Why did Ganeshan shout at the bull? He shouted at the bull. I mean, that's being rich and high class, he could not resist the urge to make himself feel and it seemed very important. So he cracked the whip and yelled at the bull. So the next question is, what reason did the lightful give for refusing, wait, for refusing to pull the horse? The reason was because uh, Gerashyam insulted him. So he like made an excuse and felt so shocked like that something. So next question, what lesson did Gerashyam learn after losing the first bet? Okay, the lesson was he learned to be respectful. Uh, he learned to respect others and learned that uh, harsh and hard words bring nothing at all, no reward. So uh, what, what change in Ganeshyam's behavior made, light, made delightful to decide to pull the cards? Because Ganeshyam changed his mind and became kind and respected. He respected uh, delightful, so delightful decided. Discuss and write. So, so you'll have to find the answer to A and type it in the comment box below. I'll tell you if it is right or wrong, okay? So, so the next question is, um, this is also what you can do, but not something I can. Okay, so let's link to life. What would you do if your friend tells you it would be fun to carve out your names in the, on the tree in your park? A. Tell him it is wrong to carve on trees as it damages them. Agree. Option B. Agree to his request. Thinking it will be fun. So the answer is most probably uh, option A. So just click on that, link text, whatever. Okay, so then uh, next question is, your friend accidentally Wait a second. Ah, okay. Accidentally trips on your foot and foot and falls down. A, a shrug your shoulders, wait for her to get up, uh, for her to get up and walk away. Help option B, help her to get up and offer an apology. So the answer is mostly option A. So the next one is. Your parents inform you that they cannot buy you a bicycle on your birthday due to certain reasons. A, tell them, tell them that you understand and would like to celebrate with just with your family. Feel upset thinking that you know, thinking your birthday is not important to them. So the right reason and the right and honest, respectful and good answer is option A. Oops, uh, here is that thingy. Okay, now, okay, okay, talk away. Let's make something. Let's just skip those. And here comes let's keep in mind making fun of others, stealing or damaging their things is disrespectful. Value, value your possessions by keeping them neat and clean. Value people by being polite and caring. Uh, option the fourth one is avoid shouting at others, uh, shouting at others or hurting others physically. Everyone, uh, by everyone deserves dignity and respect. So it is 
this one is just just for fun and I don't know what this is. I don't get it actually. So this is the end of this video. If you like this, don't forget to hit thumbs up.